Hey guys, welcome to the Vectorize. My name is Jonathan, and here today I'm gonna give you a review about using Windows alongside with iPad. Exactly, I'm gonna use here iPad as my drawing tablet, same way like you use with Huion and Cintiq. Let me share with you here my screen, my desk. As you guys can see, this is my iPad and I usually do my work using Cintiq as you guys can see over here. It's a very big you know, one, it's 16. But today I'm gonna cover you about this new app that it is very nice. Uh, first of all, to see this app, you need to download, which is paid. You need to pay monthly, all right? It's not too expensive, I'd say. And you need to install this app, AstroPad is called, in your Windows. If I show you my screen over here, this is my Windows screen. You need to download uh, the AstroPad Studio, first of all. After that, you can basically download the format that it is standard. And now we have the PC download which is new for Windows. And now guys, you can see that I'm having here the iPad synchronized with Windows and I can use this simply by, let's say, okay, I wanna open here a fin design and it's gonna open. You can use this as interactive tablet. Uh, this app works pretty smooth. I'm select here this, this group, all right? And then I'm gonna ena enable here the finger mode so I can use my hands just to, let's say, as interactive display and just to let you know about the settings that you can have here in this icon if you tap here you enable this option that's called astropad studio in this astropad studio guys you can basically custom the software that you are using and then you can manage here to have the pencil stroke let me enable here by default i'm gonna enable here the magenta by default and then if you let's say draw let me hide here by clicking this icon if i draw here using raster persona you will see that there is a pink line going on that's showing where i'm drawing okay i'm using select mode but i will select right now the brush and then i'm gonna just make it a sketch just show you so the performance works pretty great. I can draw this easily, right? Uh, I'm gonna disable this function. I don't like to see this pink red line. I'm gonna disable here by clicking the pencil stroke panel. You can find your pencil stroke, known, and there you go. You will not notice this anymore. And then you have other settings like pressure. You can custom the pressure in case that you feel like uh, you don't want to have too much hard pressure to make strong lines all right you can custom over here which is very great also on Cintiq you can do that just to let you know clicking on here in back see as well the magic gestures here on the magic gestures you can set this up let's say you have the one finger and hitting with the pencil what's gonna happen if you do that if you hit here you have some shortcuts that you can enable in that case i'm enabling here eraser so let me just hide this this panel for a bit and then i'm gonna zoom this i i need to zoom so you can use the two fingers but it doesn't work so nice do this in the same way like i'm doing uh doing this very calmly <laughs> i'd say it doesn't work so well I hope that they will improve this one finger and then press it's gonna erase this can you see i'm erasing by doing this kind of shortcut so i'm drawing let's say okay i'm drawing here then one finger i can erase i'm using here two fingers uh, as mouse button all right mouse button and look at this two fingers and then i will drag so it's gonna pan my screen viewer and another another one it is the modifier key okay this one with uh, three fingers is gonna make the out let's say that you are painting let's say okay i'm painting here and then you can simply use three fingers and use the color picker okay let's dig into the shortcut settings click here on the org space and you're gonna see this screen where you can basically set up here let's say okay i, I want to copy and then i want to paste okay so you will be able to use these as shortcuts click here in edit shortcuts here below you can edit this panel i personally i need to tell you i personally i will not and i have no plans to use this panel here i'm just showing you because i would rather choose my keyboard all right because i feel faster to use my keyboard but that case just show you that you can uh, simply uh, change here the functionality is like okay two taps here is gonna undo which is ctrl z 
and you can change the keys all right you can change this keystroke and just to let you know that uh this is a possibility that you can do by using ipad alongside with windows in this app another thing that i want to show you is that you can click here in move and zoom this screen will allow you to change the aspect ratio and also the size of your monitor if I show you here, let me zoom this a bit more, you know, less. Uh, guys, you are seeing here in full screen, which is not very appropriate for iPad because it is 16 by 9. In that case, I'm going to just hit here. Let's say I want to hit 100% and it's going to zoom in this specific part. So I can basically choose where I want to focus on my screen. And then I'm going to just hit back. And as you guys can see now, I'm seeing just one part of my desktop screen. And I, I think that it's a very nice way because you can only focus to make the drawings over here. So I'm using the desktop, looking at my desktop. And then I'm creating a new layer and then I can simply back to here to to draw. All right. As you guys can see, the performance looks pretty great. Compare here to here on the top, you will see that the performance looks very good. Uh, this is working very good because of the cable. If you are using internet, it's not going to work so well. And remember that you can see the settings. If I open here my screen, this is my uh, desktop screen. If I open here, I can change the, the position that my ipad will grab all right uh you can change the position of your screen to have the full screen on your ipad okay just show you how it works but if i hit here and made as a full screen you're gonna lose a bit of space which is not very let's say great because of course ipad is not too big to work and uh, you can have a problem like i usually have having a small screen and now let's say that you want to use your ipad to make uh, 3d stuffs let's say that i'm gonna just hit with one finger and then i can rotate here of course this is happening because of the settings that i've applied over here with the magic gestures here magic gesture is turned uh, as my right mouse button if i show you here my right mouse button does this okay i can rotate uh, of course by using ipad you not you don't have this functionality of scrolling you know you need to set up your shortcuts to use this properly okay and let's say i want to pan this i can use two fingers and then i can do this okay basically one finger rotate two fingers uh, pan and there you go and you can switch between let's say okay i want to switch to procreate all right just open here and you are on procreate you can back to here and open astropad you can now use a fin designer and then let's say okay i want to make some changes over here i want to i'm using mouse at this moment with my keyboard but remember that it is very great to make sketches i'm gonna just make some vector things here using the pencil tool and okay i am testing here just to see if the clicking is working perfectly i'm gonna just pick this color it's working nice the precision of clicking is nice then i can simply draw a shape as you guys can see it works very nice i'm drawing i'm just dragging over here just to show you uh, gaussian blur applying the precision works very great and you can compare it here my two screens all right working in real time basically it is working oh, look perfectly the time works very nice and right now if we compare the size of both screens guys look at this i'm gonna just place here my cintiq above of my my ipad look at the comparison of its size it is too big and there of course some cons and pros i i really love the the walk on you know pencil because of the buttons that you have it, it has a nice you know precision the grab the way that you grab it's very comfortable and let's say okay i want to work as designer so i switch here this is my workflow basically i switch here as with mouse and then i change here some technical stuffs and remember that uh, you can get these tutorials uh, jo by joining on the vectorizecup.com okay um yeah basically it's something that i'm very looking forward to use and test even more i still do love the cintiq but uh, i did that for now i'll try to use more my ipad here in my front alongside with with my desktop okay guys that's it for now i hope that you enjoyed this let's say review quick review about astropad which is a paid 
uh, app you need to pay this monthly it is not expensive to be honest i'm not getting sponsored to talk about that but this is a very positive point that you don't need to pay very expensive because you know that syntax uh, and huion they are you know very expensive mainly syntax that case and in case that you are planning to get a syntax just to have it as drawing tablet and you have already the ipad i need to tell you i think you should go with the ipad instead of syntax that case because with the ipad you can go everywhere you can draw in your room you can you know do a lot of stuff so without need to have a desktop with you iPad is very portable you can you can see that I can basically unplug and then I can go everywhere and I can do my project over here in anywhere I think that it is gonna be very nice and we can grow a lot as artists and that's it guys I want to take so much for your time see you in the next video and bye bye leave it a like and comment here below more suggestions see you take care